everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about seven ways that you are wearing your shirts wrong. And this was totally inspired by the eight ways that you are wearing your shoes wrong, which I can link right up there and you can totally watch that one after this because you guys loved it. And, and I think that, you know, shirts, are an important thing. We wear them every day. And so there's going to be some really cool tricks you'll learn in this video about how to wear your shirts and then how not to wear your shirts. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you are new and let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to be changing into several different types of shirts, but we're first just going to start with what I am wearing, which is this kind of oversized cable knit sweater. It's from Amazon. I can link it below. Great price, love it. However, as you can probably see, it's pretty long, which sometimes that's the kind of look you wanna go for. Maybe you're wearing leggings and you want it kind of long, but there is a really cool trick you can do if you want to crop it, if you will. So what you want to do is find a belt. This is a belt, but you wanna find a belt that will actually fit you right at your waist. So you don't want one too long. It doesn't even have to necessarily match your outfit at all because we're going to hide it. We're going to conceal the belt. So what you wanna do is put the belt on and don't worry, I know this really doesn't look that great together and it's even black. So you might be like, wow, this isn't going to work, <laughs> but I assure you it will. Okay, so there it is. So it's, it's nicely secured on there and I feel like I look like Santa Claus. Then you just wanna pull out the shirt. Just pull it out. See, we are shortening the shirt. So see? It looks so good. So it looks like a nice cropped sweater, super in style. Um, and it just shows you that, you know, if you, if you get this sweater, you can wear it long ways and you can wear it short ways. The next way you are wearing your shirt wrong is with the sleeves too long. That rhymed. These really aren't like that long. I'm kind of just making them, making them look long, but there, don't lie. There, there are shirts in your closet that are just too long. So what you want to do is, you know, pull them up scrunch the sleeves because not only does that help with the length clearly but it also looks very in style but the thing is most of the time when you do that they just slip right back down they don't behave the trick is to take a hair tie maybe a thicker hair tie um and it doesn't necessarily have to match the sweater or the shirt you could do this with blazers as well a lot of times the blazers are a little bit too long um so this is a really great trick for blazers too but all you do is put on the hair tie right around your wrist but then you pull it up you pull it up and then you kind of just mask the hair tie with like the folds and the wrinkles and stuff. And then you have an instant little like boyfriend cut style sleeve, but it is secured with the hair tie. Not only is it just again in style, but it, it like doesn't fall down. You're not going to constantly be pulling up your sleeve and it's falling back down, pulling it back up. It will just always stay there and it looks so cute. So here we are with another shirt. Uh, this is just a classic white button up shirt. You could totally do the same thing with this shirt. You could get a maybe a thinner white hair tie and again, just pull it up, cover it with the wrinkles and the folds and this will always stay up very, very secure. But with that said, I wanted to move on to the next way you are wearing your shirts wrong, which does involve cuffing. So again, if you don't wanna do the hair tie trick, a lot of people kind of just roll up their sleeves. They just roll and roll and they roll. And even though that looks good for about 10 seconds, A, it doesn't even really look that great, but then B, no matter what you do, it will continue to fall. It just, it just happens, it happens to me all the time. Well, before this, before I started doing my trick. So you have to learn how to cuff correctly. I shall show you how to cuff correctly. You actually need to unbutton, unbutton the cuff, see? Um, which seems like that's the wrong step. It is not. You wanna bring it up pretty far up, like, like so, and then you want to pull it down again and then do the double cuff and you're gonna hide that. So this is making it the perfect tightness around your arm, but also allows it for it to never fall. So it is cuffed, but it's never going to fall. It's cuffed, but it's never going to fall. Anyway, this is definitely a great trick and kind of kind of just a way you're, you, you know, if you don't do it like this, you're just wearing the shirt wrong. Okay, so now I've cuffed both arms. 
And I'm not saying that if you don't cuff your shirt, you're wearing your shirt wrong. I'm just saying many times I see it cuffed inappropriately, it's not really working and, and that's more what's wrong. So if you love a long sleeve shirt, I mean, run with it as long as it's not too long. Anyway, back to the next way you are wearing your shirt wrong. And this I see very often. Sometimes I even do it without even thinking about it. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, Shay, no, no, no. So it's actually when you tuck in your shirt. Okay, and it, and it involves a button down. This, this is definitely when there's a button down shirt. So I love tucking in my shirts. I feel like it just gives a lot of shape to the shirt. It's just, just something I really like to do. I, I do it many different ways. Sometimes I leave the back out. Sometimes I tuck the whole thing in, but what you must pay attention to is that the buttons are in line with your jeans or whatever pants you are wearing. You want the line to be completely straight. Very often, this is what I see, even on myself. That's not good. Like, and again, I don't blame you at all. I mean, sometimes we're just, we're in the bathroom and we're just trying to leave the bathroom and we don't, it, it, it happens to the best of us. I'm just saying, this is a good reminder to just try to always remember, put the buttons in line with your pants. The next way that you're wearing your shirt wrong is when you never change the button strategy, as I like to call it. And, and what that means is you basically just never change up how you button your shirt. So I like to sometimes actually button the whole way up. Um, I'll do this if I'm wearing maybe high-waisted pants and it gives a really sophisticated, sleek, mature, elegant look. And then other times if I'm just wearing some jeans and I wanna throw on maybe some gold jewelry, I'll actually unbutton it further than maybe I normally would and I'll really show off some gold dainty jewelry. And so just wearing the same shirt can give off so many different types of looks and it's all in the button strategy. But speaking of wearing the same shirt, but wearing it in different ways, I wanted to talk about the good old basic tee. And I know I've touched on this in the past, but if you are always wearing the basic t-shirt the same exact way, just like this, then you might be wearing them wrong because there's so many other right ways. The first I want to talk about is a trick that I haven't mentioned on my channel before and it does involve um, tying a knot, but here is the new trick. And I, I definitely saw this on TikTok, so I'm not taking credit for this. It's just really cool for all of you people who don't wanna show too much skin. What you do is actually take the shirt and you put it through a belt loop, okay? Put it through the belt loop, woo, and then you actually just tie the, the, the knot and just do that. Then you have the really cute look of a knotted t-shirt, but it is secured to the belt loop on your jeans. So it's never going to ride up and show any skin at all. It's just such a cute knotted little trick. Now, if you do want to show some skin and really crop it up there, you could obviously just knot it to the side, kind of like what I've mentioned on my channel before. You don't have to show too much skin, um, but that that's a really cute knot as well. And it just, again, totally transforms the basic t-shirt. Now let's not forget just the good old basic front tuck. There's that. There's also the side tuck where you're just tucking in on one side. There's also the back tuck. And this is a little trick where if you actually feel like the shirt is a little too loose and you wanna give it some shape if you're wearing a jacket, you can actually just tuck it in in the back and then the t-shirt the becomes so much more fitted and then you just throw on a jacket and it's, it's more fitted. So the next way that you are wearing your shirts wrong, it's kind of a no brainer, but something I did want to point out, but it's when you wear them wrinkled, which I know, you, I'm, I'm sure you know that's bad, but what I'm actually referring to is when you just have shirts or tops that no matter how hard you try to iron them or steam them, they basically only look good for about 10 seconds. As soon as you get in the car, you put a jacket on, you do anything at all, they become a wrinkled mess again. So for example, I have this Express white button down shirt. It's very popular. It's a best selling shirt. It comes in many colors, but no matter what I do, I, I pretty much just pull it out of my, my closet and it always looks good. It doesn't ever really look wrinkled. I can just immediately throw it on and I don't have to worry about it. Now this shirt on the other hand, I know it's white, so it's kind of blending in, but I'm telling you, I could spend a half an hour ironing this to a crisp and it just, it looks 
fabulous. But the second I put it on my body and basically move in any direction, it, it's, it's, it's a wrinkled mess really quick. So I'm just going to donate this, I guess. I apologize to anyone that gets it. But really what you wanna try to think about when you're shopping in person, at least, this doesn't really apply to online shopping, unfortunately. But if you're at a store and you pull a shirt off the rack and it's a wrinkled mess, there's a good chance it's not going to serve you well. So just kind of think about that. Put that in the back of your brain. So that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed the seven ways that you're wearing your shirts wrong. I hope you got some inspiration, maybe learned some new tricks. And if you happen to be new, consider subscribing down below. And in the meantime, I'll also link that eight ways you're wearing your shoes wrong. That's a great video. And I'll also link another one over here so you can keep on watching my videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.